Here's example number five of how to integrate by parts this particular integral, e to the x minus x quantity squared times dx. The trick about this one here is to figure out what's going to be your u and what's going to be your dv. Um, it turns out you may want to try a couple of times and it might get frustrated because the first couple of times you try nothing may work, but the trick to this particular one is as follows. Let u equal e to the x minus x to the first power and then the other e to the x minus x to the first power times the x is your dv so dv would then be e to the x minus x times dx notice when you multiply this times this you end back with what you started with you may not think of that for the first time and that's why sometimes it's so nice to be able to look at examples say oh okay I see how you do that here all right, now we just continue with the trend. So we find the du. So the du is equal to e to the x minus 1 times dx. Of course, you can't forget the dx. And when we integrate this, so this would be equal to e to the x minus x squared over 2 plus a constant of integration. Of course, we don't have to write that now. We can wait until later. All right, so now we have a du and we have a v. We can now go ahead and plug that in. We can now say that this is equal to uv minus the integral of v to u. So u is e to the x minus x times v, and v is e to the x minus one half x squared. So I have my u times v minus the integral of v, which is e to the x minus x squared over two times du, and my du is e to the x minus 1 dx. All right, at first sight, it may not look like you've simplified things, but actually you have, because you can multiply these out, you'll end up with four terms, and you can integrate each term separately, and so that should be doable, and then here we'll just leave that as is, so this is equal to e to the x minus x. We could multiply them out, we could go ahead and multiply them out, but for now, well, let's just wait with that. e to the x minus x times e to the x minus one half x squared minus the integral of, and when we multiply, we have e to the x times e to the x, which is e to the two x. e to the x times a minus one is minus e to the x. e to the x times a minus x squared is minus x squared over two e to the x. And finally, um, e to the, this times this, that would be plus x squared over 2 times dx. All right. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm. Hmm. Now, can, oh, I forgot my parentheses on this side. Can we integrate each of those terms? Well, I know how to integrate this. I can integrate this. I can integrate this. But can I integrate this? Wow. This right here looks so awful lot like something I've done before in a previous example. So I may have to do this one separately on the side. So let's try that. Let's see what we get. So this is equal to um, e to the x minus x times e to the x minus 1 half x squared minus this whole thing. So let's just separate it. It's an individual integral. So that is e to the 2x dx minus the integral of e to the x dx I'm going to take this one third, so plus the integral of x squared over 2 dx. And then finally, minus the integral of, I'll put the 1 half in front, so I end up with an x squared e to the x dx. All right, so I can integrate each one of these, but I can't integrate that one yet, because that one looks like I'm going to have to use integration of my parts, maybe twice to get rid of that x squared, um, let's see. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to take this one separately here, and I'm going to take the integral of x squared e to the x dx. I'm going to call this my, um, my u, and I'm going to call this my dv. So let u equal x squared, and let my dv equals e to the x dx which means that my du is equal to 2x uh, dx, and my v is equal to e to the x plus a constant of integration, which I can wait with. All right, 
Um, when I apply that to my formula here, this would then be equal to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, u times v, so that's x squared, times e to the x, uh, minus the integral of v du, that would be e to the x times 2x dx. I can bring the 2 out and then have x e to the x, so this is equal to x squared e to the x minus 2 times x e to the x dx. And then I have to apply integration by parts again to get rid of this x. So I let u equal x, I let dv equals e to the x dx, I let du then equal dx, and then v becomes e to the x, and I substitute that in again. This is now the third time I'm applying integration by parts to get rid of uh, one of these integrals. So this becomes x squared e to the x minus 2 times, and I get u times v, which is x times e to the x, minus the integral of v du, which is e to the x times dx. And now I'm ready to integrate that one as well. So this becomes equal to x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x minus 2 times this becomes plus 2 times the integral of that, which is e to the x, plus a constant of integration, which I'm going to leave for now because I'm going to add all that at the very end. So now this is now equal to this, and I can integrate all these other ones. So this becomes equal to e to the x minus x times e to the x minus 1 half x squared minus, all right, what's the integral of this? e to the 2x, that would be 1 half e to the 2x minus the integral of e to the x is simply e to the x. The integral of this would be x cubed over 3, so that would be plus 1 over 3 times 1 over 2 is 1 over 6, so 1 over 6 x cubed, and then minus 1 half times this integral, which is equal to this. So this becomes x squared e to the x minus 2x e to the x plus 2e to the x, like so. And then at this point, of course, I need a bracket over there. Now I realize that this minus applies to this minus 1 half, applies to everything over here. So simplifying it a little bit further, and of course I can also multiply this out right here. So we have e to the x times that, this gives me e to the 2x. e to the x times this gives me minus 1 half e to the x x squared. This times that gives me minus x e to the x, and this times that gives me plus 1 half x cubed. This times this gives me minus 1 half e to the 2x. This times that gives me plus e to the x. This times that gives me minus 1 sixth x cubed. And then this times that, the minus times the minus is a plus, so it would be plus 1 half x squared e to the x. That would be plus times a minus would be minus 1 half times 2, that becomes x e to the x. And minus times a minus is plus times 1 half times this would be e a plus e to the x. And then finally, plus a constant of integration. And that is the integration of this particular integral. Now, of course, we can probably simplify things a little bit by looking for common terms. I have, um, hmm, I have an e to the 2x here, I have a minus 1 half e to the x. But at this point, I'll probably just leave it like this. Uh, we can simplify it, but at least you know the technique now. Again, going back, the way we're able to work this is by taking this, separating it into e to the x minus x times e to the x minus x, let u be one of the factors, and then dv be the other factor. Integration by parts was able to give you a format where three of the four terms you end up with were integratable very easily, but the fourth one you end up with something that you have to then pull out to the side, go through two iterations of integration of parts to get into a form you can then integrate, plug it back in, and then just go ahead and have an algebraic simplification at that point. So, but sometimes you look at it and go, oh wow, I don't want to go any further. I just can't do it. Just stay with it. Keep using integration by parts until you get into a format where you can actually integrate it. Okay, here's example number five.